Then she wanna split up on this dick I ain't got no time for the lip If she wanna get it, I'ma make sure that she get it Oh my mama, I'ma always stay lit If you wanna join in, yes, it's legit Cause I don't give a fuck about a bitch Let's talk about Andrew Tate Let's talk Andrew Tate, right? Here's the thing about Andrew Tate Tate was, you know, he was a huge, huge social media influencer while he lasted, but he had an overdue expiration date on the time that he was going to finally be canceled. Everybody knew that this cancellation was coming. Nobody shocked, hopefully. Nobody shocked about what happened to Tate. We knew it was coming. But the thing is, this is how I feel about the Andrew Tate situation and how you should feel too. Andrew Tate should be a good example of <clears throat> why there's such a divide in social status, right? He should be he should be a great example. Look at his situation. Instead of people getting themselves up into the position that Tate was in so that they could argue his points right there on the spot and make sense while doing so, instead of dropping a video amongst their friends, you know, saying what they have to say about Andrew Tate. Instead, they would go dig up a bunch of stuff, probably ain't even got no job, sitting downstairs in a basement somewhere at their parents' house, looking up stuff about Andrew Tate so they can bring it together and utilize it. Because, see, this is the thing. Andrew Tate was in a position he was in because he was putting in work. That's why. That's why. The people that run around here cancelate celebrities and stars and all that stuff, People who run around here being a part of this canceling stuff. They're upset, really, because somebody has an opinion they want to state. And they don't like it. And the thing is, if you don't like the opinion, it's not difficult for you to just take that YouTube channel that you're watching and flip the channel. There's billions of YouTubers out there. Billions. Y'all like what one YouTuber has to say, why are you still sticking around? It's not hard to easily flip the channel real fast and be like, yeah, no, I, I don't like this, yeah. Not hard. Not hard. If you subscribe somewhere and you see that they support them and you don't like it, then unsubscribe. It really ain't that difficult. All this cancellation stuff is stupid. It really is. When you're canceling somebody and you're trying to make them villainized and all that stuff just so that they can get a lower stock, it's really just a position you're putting yourself in. Where you really just look like, man, like what? You, you ain't got no life. You ain't got nothing you could be doing right now. Like that's how I'll be feeling when I see y'all cancel culture people. If I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest, a hundred percent. Like that's how I'll be thinking. I'm like, bro, they they ain't got nothing else to be doing. Really, ain't got nothing better to be doing. Nothing better. We we gotta be sitting on the internet talking about Andrew Tate and what he did with his career and what he was doing with his life. Before the fame, while he was famous, just trying everything in that power to get this dude removed from the internet. Now, I'm not no huge Andrew Tate supporter. But one thing is, I didn't really like Andrew Tate content that much. And you know what I did? I was like, okay, cool. I took that YouTube, changed the channel. He popped up on my Instagram, keep scrolling. He popped up on a TikTok, keep scrolling. It wasn't that hard. It ain't that hard. It's actually easier to do that than it is to go do all that cancellation stuff. And the reason why, I mean, I, I shouldn't be explaining this right now, but I'm going to explain it anyway. The reason why is because, bro, to do all that cancellation, you got to keep looking up this, digging up this, looking through this and that. Like, why are you wasting so much time, dude? Get on your grind. Really, get on your grind. Complaining about your life situation. I talk to so many people who sit around complaining all day about their life situation. But here they is having a lot to say about Andrew Tate. It's pathetic, man. It's pitiful. It's frustrating. I'm going to be honest. It's frustrating to see that people will take the time to go dig into Andrew Tate life instead of fixing up their own life. It's pitiful. Like, why are y'all sitting down talking about Andrew Tate and you broke? Why are you sitting down talking about Andrew Tate and you can't even put no food in your, in your fridge? When I say broke, I'm not talking about you make 50000 uh uh-uh. I'm talking about you making like 32000 a year. 35000 a year and you in your 30s. It's not good. You got to get your money up. You're making what a 19-year-old, a teenager be making. Come on. But we looking up Andrew Tate's. 
you out here living check to check, but you talking about Andrew Tate. You got a lot you need to be worried about other than Andrew Tate is what I'm saying. You have a lot you should be focused on. You way overweight, but you talking about Andrew Tate. You're going through depression, and you need to go to a doctor. But we talking about Andrew Tate. Why are you focus about Andrew Tate if you got mental issues? Why are you talking about Andrew Tate if you got physical body issues? You worried about the wrong stuff. Your priorities is backwards. That's what's wrong with these internet clowns these days, man. For real. Be so caught up in the internet, bro. It's all fake world. And then you snap back to reality and realize, bro, your life is not perfect. And you have zero room to be talking about somebody else. And you really shouldn't be wasting your time looking up a way to cancel somebody else. Quit wasting freaking time. As I always say, it's okay to take your time. But there's an issue with time wasted. You taking the time to cancel an influencer is a waste of time. Seriously. It is. It's a waste of time. You slanting up there in his DMs, all in the comment section, having a lot to say about somebody. It's a waste of time. It is. Because really, if you don't like what's being said, you don't like a video, you don't like a song, you don't like... It is so easy for you to just go on ahead, grab that button, and swipe off. Swipe off! Why are we wasting time, bruh? You taking the time to cancel this dude. Come on, bruh. Y'all ridiculous. Seriously. I never believed in cancel culture. Never will believe in it. And this Andrew Tate situation was a great way to expose my point exactly. That's why I made this video about cancel culture now instead of earlier. Because now you have the Andrew Tate situation. The best example possible of what I be trying to say. Exactly my point. People are going to waste more time being worried about what somebody got going on in their personal life. If you like Andrew Tate content, why are you getting super duper invested in that man's personal life? Absorb the content. Understand what he's saying and move on with your life. It ain't that hard. It's a part of the entertainment business. It's entertainment. Y'all take these entertainers too seriously. Y'all be worshipping this entertainment. Y'all be worshipping these uh, celebrities and stuff. It's y'all issue. That's y'all problem. Y'all stay worshipping these dudes. So when they let you down, you have no choice but to feel some type of way. You have no choice but to feel stabbed. You have no choice. Because that's your God. And you can say, no, I, I worship the Bible. No, you worshiping this celebrity because you're looking too much into their freaking personal life. If you said you were just worshiping the Bible, then why do you care so much about their personal life? Take the entertainment for what it is and move on with your life. Y'all don't do that, though. Y'all got to go invest in it, get invested and see where they from, they age, they weight, they height, where they stay, their personality. You want to get way too god darn invested. It's your issue. And I'm going to leave it off on this point right here. Something I said in the beginning. When you're doing that, just know that this is, when you're doing that, I want you to think about this. The next time you're sitting down. Wondering about a celebrity personal life and what they got going on and how you going to worship them better. And, oh, wow, she said something so strong. Billie Eilish is my motivation, y'all. Uh -huh. Next time you're sitting up there thinking about that like that. Keep in mind, that's why these people are where they are. And that's why you sitting on the couch trying to cancel them. I ain't let the breezy know I ain't trying to get that bitch a brain Got a mission that she knew I put that booty in the paint And I wanna put that pussy on the mic I don't give a fuck about the bitches That be driving me insane